Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And um, today we're going to be talking about what's your position? There was a post that came about this week and it said that marriage is just a piece of paper. Now I have been super, super busy so I never got a chance to do a video to address it. But today I plan on addressing it and I plan on making it very real for you so that you can understand benefits versus issues. So let me say this, any relationship that you enter, whether it is a girlfriend, boyfriend, whether it is um, husband, wife, regardless to what it is, there will be certain issues. And the reason there will be certain issues is because you're dealing with another human being. And when we're dealing with people, there are going to be things that happen. It comes along with any type of relationship that you have, whether it's a good relationship, bad relationship, there will be issues. But my position is, this is my position, my stance, my point of view. If I'm going to go through the issues anyway, let me get my benefits. You get hired at a job. As a temp worker, you at this job. And you're so excited about this job because normally when we go to a job and we go through a temp company, our hopes is to get hired on permanent at the job. The reason we want to get hired on permanent at the job is because we have an interest in getting benefits. It's certain things that come along with a permanent hire that doesn't go on when you contract it or going through a temp company. So I got to make this look real for you. These are your benefits. It's just benefits. At this point, these benefits don't belong to anybody. I got up this morning. I was moving fast. I ain't putting nothing on. I ain't got no watch on, rings on, nothing. But this is my hand that I wear my, my wedding ring on. Okay? This is my left hand. I don't have my ring on today. I don't have anything on. I was moving fast, trying to get here to get this message to you. So this side over here represents marriage, right? This side over here represents girlfriend. No ring on this finger, fine, right? You get hired at the job, okay? Both have their pay. So we're gonna take two of these to represent the pay on this side for wife. Two of these represent the pay for this side for the girlfriend. Okay. So, you at the job. The, you say, ooh, I would love to, um, I, I need insurance. I'm, I'm going to talk about insurance first. Well, because you married to him, now he gets to add you on to his insurance at work. He gets to add you. That means, guess what? You don't have to have insurance coming out of your check anymore unless you choose to because some people have dual insurances. But he adds you on to his insurance. So, benefit. Benefits moving over here to the wife's side. You girlfriend. Unfortunately, man, because you're the girlfriend, he can't add you to the insurance because you don't qualify. Okay? Okay. Oh, I want to go back to school. Well, luckily for you, you eligible for tuition reimbursement because you are high, you you are part of the team. You are um you you get to take a part of this particular benefit because you work for the company, aka wife. So it's a benefit. So here go your here go your tuition reimbursement. I want to go back to school too. Well, sweetheart, good for you. Will y'all going to give me tuition? Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. But unfortunately, you don't qualify because you just work through the temp company. You're not a permanent hire. Oh my God, I feel so bad. I got a 
call off from work for two weeks because um, I I then had a surgery and I just cannot get up and I cannot come come to work right now. Oh, well, guess what? If you look into your benefits packet, you get paid time off. Here you go, benefits. Oh, I ain't feeling well. I'm having surgery, but I need to be off too. Oh, sweetheart, unfortunately, because you are a temp worker, you don't qualify for the paid time out. But you can take off from work, but you can't get paid for it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm trying to think of a, a, another issue that, that a person will have at work. Oh, look, I need, I need time off because we didn't plan a trip to Jamaica and I need to take a week of my vacation time. Oh, well, guess what? When you go on vacation, you get paid for it because that's part of your benefit packet. Oh, it ain't got nothing to do with your paid time off for sick and medical leave. This is something completely different. So go ahead and plan your vacation and we're going to pay you while you're gone. Here you go. Part of your benefits package. Well, me and my boyfriend going to Jamaica too. Well, y'all have fun, but make sure you work here at least a year um, before you try to start taking off because you ain't got nothing built up. You, you don't, you, you know, you don't have a packet like that. And I would hate for you to try to take off and go to Jamaica and then we put somebody else that's in the tip from the other temp company, come back and you ain't even got a place here no more. Oh, the company got a Christmas party. Well, you got an invite to the Christmas party. And guess what? You got an invite to the Christmas party. You come to the Christmas party. You're more than welcome to come to the Christmas party. Both of y'all got an invite to the Christmas party. Now, you get to the Christmas party and the company talking about how well they did this year at the Christmas party. They did so good at the Christmas party until they giving bonuses at the Christmas party, handing out envelopes to everybody who works for the company. They get to get uh, in on this bonus because they contributed. So everybody at the Christmas party, you at the Christmas party, you at the Christmas party, because both of y'all have been invited to the Christmas party. But when you get to the Christmas party, they talk about the bonus because you are actual employee and it comes with your benefits. So guess what? All of this go to you because you're the employee. Oh, well, I was working too. I was, I was doing everything that everybody else was doing too. I understand, baby, but you don't get the benefit because... You just a temp worker, a.k.a. girlfriend, a.k.a. not eligible for benefits. Oh, so you mean to tell me during this time frame, uh, houses was purchased, cars was purchased, assets, businesses, everything was purchased and he died? And now we get to collect on a policy? Oh, there go to you too. Because your name was listed on everything, retirement, pensions, deeds, titles, assets, bank accounts, everything. But I don't get nothing. I was, I was there for him. I was there for him at the sick bed. I took care of him. I did this. I did that. Oh, baby, but you was just the girlfriend. You don't get access to the benefits. Why am I doing all of this? I'm doing all of this because I want you to understand. I'm going to sit this right here because I want you to be able to see the, my people that's on Facebook. I'm sitting this right here for you because I want you to understand. Both of these women went through the same issues. Just as well as they was working for a company. And they both had to come to the company every day and do the work. It's just that one person was a uh, a hire, a permanent hire. And the other person was a temp worker. And because this person worked for the company permanently, they got access to certain benefits that the other person that was a temp worker 
didn't get access to. If I'm going to be a woman, I'm going to be motivating, encouraging, being there for you, stroking your ego, stroking your dick, making sure you good, you making sure I'm good. We doing this thing called life together. We sharing our life together. I know when I do this, certain issues are going to come along with it, whether I'm your wife or whether I'm your girlfriend. But see, the thing about me is, if I'm going to go through the issues, I'm going to get the motherfucking benefits too. I'm not going through all of these issues and going through all of this shit here and there that anybody in a relationship going to have to go through anyway. I'm not doing it without my benefits. So for those of you all that's on this is just a piece of paper, y'all can have it. Y'all can have that mindset. Y'all can have that mentality. You can have it. You could go in and tell me about all of the bad things that can happen in marriage and they still going to cheat and he going to cheat on you too as a girlfriend and I'm going to get cheated on with my benefits. Oh, they still going to be unhappy. Well, guess what? You're going to be unhappy over there too and I'm going to be unhappy with my benefits. Oh, it ain't promised to last forever. Yes, baby. Nothing is promised to last forever. But the same way he could walk out the door and leave your ass over here as a girlfriend, he could walk out and leave my ass as a wife too. And I'm still have my benefits. See, we ain't the same. See, when I'm do when I'm going to into shit, I go into it with the mindset of future. When I decided that I was gonna leave my job and work for myself. I went into this shit understanding all the risks that was going to go on with it. Do you know how many people start businesses and that shit fell within the first five years? The same way people go into marriages and it fell within the first five years. You understand the risk that goes along with it when you go into it. But guess what? I'm still going. Because the outcome to me, future-wise, look a little bit better than me not going. Staying at my job working it because I, I I I understand what the guarantee is over here and I don't understand what the guarantee is right here. It's no different. In life, we all gonna take chances. It's no different. In life, everything that we do is a risk. Oh, because he doing all of this here and he cheating. And he got a baby, and guess what? You was the girlfriend, and you still got the baby. But she still got her benefits. And a lot of y'all talk about some, well, it ain't worth it. Well, this don't look like it's worth it to me. This don't look like it's worth a whole lot of nothing to me. In my opinion, it ain't enough. If I'm going to put all of me into this, and I'm putting my heart on the line, and all, of this, all these chances of getting hurt, all these risks, this look like I take a chance on this. This is what I take a chance on before I take a chance on this any day. So my point is, I can't make it look no realer than how it look right now. So for those of y'all that be talking about the wives and oh they over there and they getting married and they still going through this and they still going through that and she's still over there, this why. This is why she's still over there. Oh, she had churn for me. This is, mm -hmm. this is why she's still over there. And you had churn too. But this is where you at. This is going to offend some people. I can't help what the reality is. But the benefits are over here on the side where marriage exists. And what you should do instead of getting upset is show his ass this video. That's what you should do. Because what's Sharonda trying to be? Where the money resides, where the money resides. That's what Sharonda trying to be. Where the benefits reside, where the benefits reside. That's what Sharonda trying to be. What increase resides, what increase resides. That's what Sharonda trying to be. And I don't, I don't cut no corners about it. You can say I'm money hungry. I don't give a fuck. 
You can say all you is about you. I don't care. What's Sharonda trying to be? Where the increase at? Where the benefits set? Well, even if I got to walk away, guess what? I'm walking away with all my benefits. All right. <laughs> That's enough on that. So this new game that I have is called Date Night. This is a new date night game here at the PPG store. Um, I thought they were, I thought it was perfect for my um for to 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 make y'all understand where I was coming from with this video. So this date night game is a little bit different than the first date night game I had. The first date night game gave you date night suggestions. Whether it's indoor, whether it's outdoor. This date night game is for you to be able to ask personal questions. So that means that um, you can actually play this one indoors. Like, I'm going to give you an example. This Thursday, it was raining really bad. Um, the place that I wanted to go to, which was Crab Queens, I knew it was going to be super packed because they were doing the Cinco de Mayo celebration on the 4th instead of the 5th. I don't know what that was about because um, Cinco de Mayo is May 5th, but they were celebrating May 4th. Cool. So I knew it was going to be packed. So what I did was I ordered my food to go and I did a project called Clona Willie, which is where we make the penis mold for my husband, Epic Fell. The mold got the, I was, I was the fluffer. And if you don't know what a fluffer is, a fluffer is a person that get the person prepared for porn, meaning I was sucking a whole lot of dick. But I was sucking dick and stirring the bowl at the same time. Y'all, it was crazy. But I was getting it done. So I was pouring the stuff in the little container. And it was hardening up so quick. By the time he went to stick his dick in it, it had already got solid. And we couldn't even get it in. And, and we was just like, you know what? We cannot let this hard dick go to waste. So we went on ahead and went to plan B. Anyway, afterwards, and we were just laying up, we started playing the day night card game. And this basically asks you personal questions. What are the, what what are some things about? Um, in other words, it it kind of gets this person to think on the terms of you and them and y'all future, and maybe um, get to like it just asks how have I changed over the years, you know? And one of the things that he talked about was the ways that I have changed and grown as a woman. Uh, one of the other questions was um, what did it ask? about the characteristics, um, what, you know, positive attributes. It asks those type of questions. So the good thing about this type of date night game is this is one that you can play at home. It's not one that you have to necessarily leave the house. So I've been looking for date night questions because a lot of times people have their dinner and all of this kind of stuff. But if you're having dinner and you're able to exchange conversation through these questions, it just makes it so much better. Okay. And I have been getting y'all inboxes and y'all posts and y'all have been doing a great job with date night. My people that's in my age group, a lot of y'all are about to be empty nesters. Empty nesters is when your children are leaving the home and transitioning to college or transitioning to their own place. And basically now you all have the house to yourself. One thing that I have discovered when I'm dealing with empty nesters is sometimes they, these people have been so focused on raising their children, they have completely lost the connection with one another. So date night is a way to be able to build that connection back and just to find out where you are at this place, where you are at this point in your life. Because believe it or not, some people really not having those conversations and they're not understanding where the other person is at this point in their life. If I would have talked to Spencer 10, 15 years ago, he would have said at this point in his life, he was a HVAC technician. Well, guess what? Here it is 15 years later. At this point in his life, my husband is focused on photography. So his direction, his move, he moving completely different. So sometimes we got to find out where these people are in their lives at this point. Okay. So day night is a great way to bring that connection. So continue to inbox me your questions. Continue to inbox me your pictures, your ideas, because when I post this stuff up, it gives other people ideas too, 
Okay. Lastly, I had a wife to send me a message. No, I'm sorry. I had a girlfriend to send me a message. And basically, she's gained weight. And another thing she um talked about was him basically cheating and she's done everything that she can in her power, so on and so forth. But that ain't really what my this this portion of my video about. My issue was you working two jobs and he out there good timing with another woman. What y'all gotta understand is in order for a man to have a, a, a relationship with another woman, a lot of times he has to have the resources to be able to do that. A lot of y'all doing this 50-50 thing and what it's doing is allowing him to have resources to be able to go out there and entertain somebody else. See, I'm not, I don't do 50-50 at all. Husbands are 100% responsible. They're 100% responsible. See, the, the reason they got resources to be able to go out there and do what they want to do is because y'all 50-50 in it. And guess what? He he taking care of home with his 50-50 and then he got his other half of the 50-50 to go do what he want to do with it. So one thing about a woman, she don't want to entertain no man that ain't got no money that can't do nothing for her. So you take this how you want to take it, but a lot of times the reason y'all husbands have all of this extracurricular going on is because y'all doing this 50-50 and they got the resources to be able to do it with where if that ass was broke or if that ass was bringing all their money home like they supposed to, then they wouldn't have the extra money to go and do that. So just let that sink in. You all be blessed. You all enjoy your day. You all enjoy your uh, the day after the Cinco de Mayo, the hangover day, whatever y'all like to call it. The PPG store is open today from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. All of this stuff is here on the it's in the store and the date night games is on the website as well. Um, it's 500 questions. So this is not something that you're going to play at all at one time. This is something that you're going to pick maybe 10 cards and y'all go back and forth. And then at another time, y'all pick another 10 cards. Okay. You all be blessed. You all enjoy the rest of your day, which is national hangover day. <laughs>